Good morning. From the Three Locks Forest Drive, which is a controlled wild camping area, controlled zone, <clears throat> where you have to pay to stay. We stayed for one night, we booked it last minute. Just to save the hassle of trying to find anywhere. Not that it's a hassle to find anywhere in Scotland to park. Um, but yeah, we decided that this is where we were gonna stay. So, I'm just going for a little walk this morning. I'm not on the best of tracks, I must admit. Looks like the world's best off-roader has been down here and nothing else. <clears throat> so last night I was out taking photos. Um, the northern lights were kicking off above there. They weren't the best. I could only just make them out with my eyes if I really, really tried my hardest. Um, and uh, while I was taking the photos, I could hear this thudding noise doof, doof, on the floor. I kind of crap my pants a little bit because it's pitch black, I couldn't see a damn thing, like nothing at all. And then I shine the torch, I had a little torch from there, shine the torch around, which is obviously not what you should do when you're crapping yourself in the dark. And uh, yeah, sure enough, there was a deer stood right in front of me, and I don't know who was more scared. We both just froze. Um, and uh, yeah, I just crapped myself and went back in the van, <laughs> scared of a deer. <clears throat> it's the unknown, isn't it? It's not knowing what's going to happen. I don't think a deer is ever going to do anything to me. But yeah, that was uh, that was an interesting start to the morning. So I've just had the drone up, getting some good footage. Um, although what I've tried to do is reduce the quality of the videos because when I'm editing them, they um they keep freezing my computer <laughs> once the video gets about 15 minutes it freezes the computer uh, i'm not even on the track here yes yeah, so i've tried to reduce the video a little bit just to make it um a little bit easier to edit stuff See, I really wish I was down there by the water. You can't probably can't see it on this camera, but there's mist being blown along the water all the way along there. That'd be so good to have the drone just flying into it. I could go down there, but it's gonna take me probably 10 minutes to get over there.
I remembered to bring some gloves this time, although they are only little cotton things, which my hands are actually frozen now. This one isn't too bad. Quality. Um, my other hand is frozen. The one that's holding the camera is just Baltic. I have been out here for an hour though, because I've used two uh, batteries worth of drone footage, so it's probably the best part of an hour. Oh. Where we're parked, I'm not sure if we're allowed to park on this bit. Oh, I'm gonna have to swap hands. I can't. Yeah, I'm not sure if we're allowed to park on this bit because um, it did say specifically where we have to park. You kind of like book a parking bay and there's like three or four to choose from. But I found this little sort of offshoot. So the track runs along, along here, down into that lowest point of that valley here and then round and over past another lake. That cloud there is cover completely covering the lake by the looks of it. I'm glad we're not over that bit. And I found this little sort of secluded road. <clears throat> Managed to get some little ramps, they cost me 15 quid from Go Outdoors. Excuse the mess at the back of the van. Mika's still asleep in there. Actually, look at this. Windows are all frosted up. There's another van up there. You can see it. Where is it? There. There's not actually that many motorhomes here. Kind of gives you an idea of where we are. Alright, I'm going to have to get back inside because my hand is Baltic now. Get some breakfast on the go. Good morning. Again. But good morning from Amika. Good morning. We're just trying to make our way down this complete mess of a hill. And uh, see what's down the bottom. So I've only seen it from the top. When we come down here, there's actually a trail here. So uh, looks like some sort of path rather than a road, isn't it? So I was going to try and get to the water, but it doesn't really look like it's suitable pathwise. So I think we might just walk. Oh, should we go that way? Because the cows were that one. Yeah. Oh, let's go that way. The cows that I drew. Yeah. Drew some cows last night on a new book. How's your jacket, by the way? Cool. Let's have a look. Is it all then? Oh yeah. Matching with Daddy. Mm. Yeah? Yeah. Twins. Right, we'll keep walking, but I was just going to uh, I was about I was gonna fall, which I did fall, and then I really hurt myself and my daddy was like, get the camera out. <laughs> <laughs> and I was crying. I don't know if we got the camera out. <laughs> Why did you just make that up? <laughs> you said. Oh, I said it would have made a good video. Yeah, it would have made a good video. Good fun, good fun watching people fall over. <laughs> yeah. And you said I cried too loud that I woke all the elephants up in Africa. <laughs> <sighs> anyway. So this is where we are. And this is where we're going. What are you doing? Flying this helicopter drone. 
<laughs> You're flying a helicopter. You're crazy. Still going. <laughs> Don't crash it. There's people in that drone you're flying. <laughs> Hi. So somewhere between them trees is the van. You just see it popping through. Oh yeah. We just had a little walk this morning, but you, you need a full day walking around here and we want to move on, so there's plenty more days left in this lifetime to come and explore properly. Mm -hmm. Isn't there? Mm -hmm. Right, let's turn the camera around. There's the van. Just see it through that gap. Just parked up here because there's one of these cows. I don't know what they're called. I'm just going to call him Gerald because that's what Amika named him yesterday. Um, so that's what his name is. Hold on, sweet. Because okay. uh, he might eat you for breakfast. Mm. He's listening. He's listening to us. Hello, mister. Hi, Gerald. How's that for a, a view? Very docile, isn't he? He's not interested. You don't think he's going to say hello? Yeah. Gerald! Not really interested, is he? Um, I'm not sure. He might have been very happy. No. He's pretty tired. Look at the rough night in my face. <laughs> Cow bears. Right then, first pot noodle experience. So you need to rip the corner off, turn it upside down, and pour it in. Right, what do you reckon of the view? Ooh, I like that bridge. It's nice, isn't it? Yeah, it's like two bridges. Very beautiful. And then what we do in a second, when this boat is boiled, yeah. which isn't going to be much longer, we fill it in and then we close the lids, okay? Right, we're all boiled now, so... What we do now is we fill them up like this. You ready? Yep. Ooh, bubbly, bubbly, bubbly. High quality food this is. Ooh. <laughs> it's not really. It's <laughs> junk. Junk food. Oh, that was good, isn't it? Well measured, Dad. So hold it and close it. Remember it's hot. So you just just took that under. That's it. Same with that one. Do you that's shake it, them? that's enough. No, you don't shake them. <laughs> <laughs> shake it, shake. Shake it, shake. <laughs> Chicky. You are mental, aren't you? Mental, mental, chicken oriental. What? A mental, mental, chicken oriental? Or... You're definitely mental. Right, where's the fork to come? <laughs> so in a minute we'll give them a stir, okay? We'll let them settle. Because yeah. all the um, all the noodles will go soft. Yours? My precious. My precious. My precious, my precious. Right, you're just weird. <laughs> so what you do, you open it up, and then all the powder's all at the bottom, so you've got to get right in the bottom, give it a good stir, round and round like that. Ooh, nice and warm. So remember, go right to the bottom, and go round in a circle. And you're scratching the bottom into the corners, 
And then you just make sure you hold on to it. It's lovely and warm here. No. <laughs> Water wheel there, look. Okay. You see, do you know what that is? No. That used to turn around and turn a big wheel that either this way, crush something, or sometimes they make electricity. Right, look at that house there on the end. Wow. How cool is that? Oh. Yeah. They are pretty cool, aren't they? What is that? Ooh. It's an owl. It's a 3D owl, but you can't see it on the camera. You can only see it in real person. The camera can't see it. I really like it. Oh, here's, here's the cow that we saw standing up. Yeah, there's one round here that's General. the same look. Gerald. That one really is the same. Gerald was a baby. Yeah. Gerald's baby. Right then. for some quartz there's tons here but we're trying to find some clear quartz um there's absolutely loads of it look just chunks of it lying around what have you found i found these that ones smoky black quartz sorry but we've got to get rid of you hey you have a bath <laughs> did see it just a good bit a second ago but i've lost where it was now. and look it's like oh, golden wow. 
found golden. a bit of gold here. Golden bit. Some of this stuff is absolutely incredible. What is this? I can get this in the sun and focused. Is this in the rock? Amazing. That's a rock yeah. or wood? It's all rock, sweetie. How do they get all this sparkles? Oh, I don't know the answer to that, I'm afraid. I'm not a, uh, I'm not a geologist. Oh, what you found? It's a bit sea slower. Oh, yeah. That's a good piece, isn't it? Yeah. Sparkle, sparkle. So we're looking for the best piece of quartz, what we can find. See, all the rocks here are shiny, look. I wonder why that is. Hmm. Very interesting. <laughs> Very interesting. Very interesting. Very interesting. Because I'm very right. posh. Very posh. <laughs> Look what I found. Well, that's not very clear. Ta da! Are you sure that's not sheep poo? I'm sure. <laughs> Look, it's Why did you chuck it? it so quick? Now, this one I found here has got some clear stuff in it. Look. Look at that one. Oh, wow, that's kind of purplish. Yeah, that's what you think. Well, that's a better one. Look at that. Oh wow! But vote which one's the best? <laughs> the one with the black? Daddy's or Amika's? Yeah. But bear in mind I found both of them. Oh, uh, that's not true. Okay. okay, that is true. You can actually see through it. That's cool. Well, if you're watching and you want to get married to me, you're going to have a quartz rock instead of a ring. Wow. Well, we found some quartz that we broke out of a rock and it's about as clear as we could get it. It's pretty good. Zoom in a bit. Especially that smallest piece to the right hand side in the centre. It's a really clear piece. What have you got? I've got some brick. Oh yeah, a very ancient house brick. Should we go and look at this little waterfall? Okay, I'm bringing my cute rock. Uh, no, um, cute house brick. <laughs> we saw this mountain pass and it's just like, it was just irresistible. You've got to go up anything that looks like this when you travel in. Um, the only downside is, we was on our way to a co-op because we've got no food, so have to reassess the situation here try and find another co-op find the mud right through it yeah right through it who cares oh look what i found what, what is that book yeah oh. it might even be toads because it's huge you can pick it up on the camera. Now where we live, they've all come out already. Why do you think they haven't come out here? I don't know. Because it's colder. Yeah? It'll be a little bit a little bit later than us. Lisa! Go on then. Can I check a rock in it? Yeah, of course you can. Can I have a wave? 